hard, Alan, but I... Fun, fun. Give me a rest. Bob, don't start squawking, Elmer. A few more rehearsals and we'll be able to get to these two wandering trouble hunters and get ourselves a job on the stage. Ain't you an optimist, though? Elmer sure got your number, Alibi. We're getting plenty fed up with that jabbering. Why don't you put that dummy away? Who's a dummy, you big ape? Get down off of that horse and I'll tear you apart. If I can catch you. <laughs> I'll take it easy, Elmer. You know, the Dusty and Crash are plumb hard to get along with. If we get that vaudeville contract, we're going to have to put up with them. You darn tootin' you're going to have to put up with us. And if we have any more trouble with it, we're going to use Elmer for firewood. Yeah, you and who else? Trouble, that's all you and Crash think about. If we find enough trouble back on the ranch without going out and hunting for us, One. Looks like that Aubrey in the wagon needs some help. Let's go. Cut out the foolishness alibi. This is no time to clown. But I didn't do nothing. For the love of Mike. <laughs> hey, Dusty, look. It's a real baby. A what? <laughs> Doggone, I knew there was trouble coming. All kids ain't no trouble. Well, you don't know kids. My baby. He was in danger. So I... No, oh, take it easy, pal. Take care of him. Bart H. Marion. Look out for him. Poor little maverick. No, 
Nothing to identify him. Well, what do we do with the baby? Take care of it until we find out what's in back of this killing. He said the kid's in danger and to look out for Amos. Say, uh, you suppose that's the young one's name? No, I'm betting Amos is someone else. Well, what about this Marion in the Bar H Ranch? You reckon we ought to look him up? Yeah, but first we got to go into town and report this shooting. Well, what if they think we did the killing and throw us in jail? After all, we're strangers here. I never thought about that. After all, there's no reason for us to leave with our chins. Yeah, I guess you're right. So if we turn the horses loose, they'd head for home. Right. And we'll take this two-legged Yerdon to that cabin we just passed until we're sure who it is. That's right. Give me a hand. Whoever killed my brother apparently turned the horses loose and knew that they would bring him home. Have you any suspicions who might have committed the crime this morning? No. We've had a great deal of trouble ever since the state started buying gravel from our ranch for medicine hat dam. A couple of our men were mysteriously killed, as you know. And Bob's life was threatened several times. That's why I was taking the baby to town. I thought it would be safer with Mrs. Parker. But now my brother is dead, and no one seems to know what's happened to the baby. Marion. Bob was my best. Wanted me the baby's guardian, and I'll help the sheriff search until we find the youngster. Chances are that Bob Horner's killers are holding the child. Rex, get a posse together. We're combing the country for that baby. Mr. Borland, I heard that there was a meeting at the sheriff's office today. You heard right. Didn't I tell you to never come here in the daytime? Oh, you've got nothing to worry about now. We got Horner out of the way, and you're sitting pretty. Sitting pretty, huh? Where's the baby? Why, did those three strangers bring the kid into town and report the killing? What do you mean, three strangers? The wagon with Horner's body showed up to Bar H, and nobody was with it. Say, there's something phony going on, then. Yeah, after we plugged Horner, three armies started shooting at it and we had to take out. But well, they must have the kid. Well, you birds sure put me in a tough spot. Until that kid's found, the court will hold up my trusteeship of the estate. Well, after all, we're no mind readers, Morley. Listen, we had a deal with you. We won't go into that. Find that baby. And you can fix it up somehow so those three strangers are blamed for the murder. See, that's an idea. We'll check with you later on. Warm yet? Just about. Let me have that bottle. You know, Dusty and I are going into town tonight, and we'd better hurry up and feed my little maverick. What do you mean, your little maverick? Didn't I find him? You mean I did. You know what? I'll bet he'd go for this. He sure would if you'd loan him your teeth. I remember when I was a kid, all I cowed you to hey, watch what you're doing. <laughs> you'd never make a mother. Look at the baby. I bet I know what he is. He needs new dungarees. You think you can do it? I reckon I ought to be able to, seeing as how I'm an expert at throwing a diamond hitch on a pack mule. Funny, ain't it? <laughs> uh, 
There's the young fella saddled his pants aplenty. <laughs> now look what you haven't done. I hadn't had him quiet down, too. Sleep, my little maverick. Sleep, my little maverick. Hey, pipe down. Sounds almost as bad as Dusty singing. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Well, we'll let the baby decide that. Come on, get out of there, Alibi. Na da di da da, na da di da. for trouble. We'll try to be back from Medicine Hat by midnight. Sheriff, I'm looking for a gent named Amos. You mean Amos Hardy? Yeah, that's him. He owns the gold mine saloon across the street. Say, so have they found any trace of the fellows that killed Horner? No, we haven't. But when we do, they will sure swing. Yeah, I reckon they will. Thanks, Sheriff.
Closed contracts duly signed. This acceptance expires July the 14th. There's no use worrying, Jim. If those three strangers still have the kid, they're no doubt trying to find out who he belongs to. Well, I hope you're right. Once we get our hands on that $50,000, we're leaving this bird for good. Here's what's it gonna be. Make mine a Kentucky bourbon. Mm -hmm. I'll have milk, and my partner will have milk, too. I get it. A little uh, rattlesnake milk, huh? My partner said milk. Milk? Mm-hmm. Milk. I tell you to beat it. Two of those strangers have got the killer out of the bar. Try and get them out of the saloon without any trouble, and we'll see what they're up to. We're looking for Amos Hardy. Is he around? Yeah. He's in his office. Those two 
even know who the kid belongs to, they'll show up at the bar and jump right up to the first thing in the morning.
and take a look at that bushwhacker and find out what that shooting's about. All right, I'll circle around the hill. Oh, 
Well, I've seen you before. Yeah, but I've got a job now. I'm the bar H. Okay, well, I suppose it's your business, Mary. See you later. Yeah, I switched the album for the baby and they took the album. What are you 
you mean they? Them three gunfighters that killed Horner. Those three gunfighters? Yeah. The only ones that know we're staying at this cabin are Marion, the sheriff, and Moreland. And Moreland left the Bar H before we did. Alibi, you take the baby to the Bar H and don't talk. Dusty and I are riding the town. Let's travel.
Get anything of value? I got that letter from the state engineering department, Amos. If we don't get it back before the Horner girl sees it, we're stuck. Kirk laid a trap for them three troublemakers. And we're riding out to Mesquite Canyon right now to spring it. Well, you gotta ride, will you? Good. Cabin alibi. Do you reckon that sheriff and his posse are still fat on us? Well, if we can't follow the trail, we'll have to blind. Here comes Gusty. How are you doing, Gusty? I'm lucky to be doing it all. I've been dodging bullets for the past hour. You ain't the only one. How far back are you playing me? Well, they're too close for comfort, but we got a little time. Is that the cabin over there? Yeah, and there's a guard outside, and they might be holding Marion. They're holding them or two, that's right. Oh, that would mean shooting, and Marion might get hurt. You circle around to the back of the cabin, and Dusty and I'll get the guard outside. Okay.
Elmer. Elmer. Speak to him. Speak to him, boy. Did they... Now listen, Elmer, did they hurt you? Only my feelings. Wait till I get a hold of that cold cat. Bob Warner and shooting. That's how we come to have the baby. 
Well, if those three committed the murder, I didn't know anything about it. They worked for Amos. Sell us out, would you? Morland planned the whole deal. He wanted me to buy the bar ridge for him, so Horner wouldn't get suspicious. And what else? This didn't work. We well, planned on bumping Horner off. So he'd be the kid's guardian and get his hands on the gravel contract. Right. All right. Well, I've got some empty cells for you fellas. I'll tie those two. We're all heading for town. You bet I love this ranch. And everything on it. I sure hate to leave. Then why not stay? You know I need good kind. But, Marion, gee, I, I got two fine pals, and I really got to go with them, but, but I'll be back. Um, I understand. You just can't leave your pals. Who was the lady I saw you with last night, Elmer? Oh, cut it out, Alibi. I told you if you didn't get some new gags, you'll split in the act. Well, I did see you going down the street with your piccolo, Elmer. Well, that was no piccolo, that was my pipe. You know, Marion, I love this ranch and everything on it. I sure hate to leave it. I know. Don't tell me. You've got two wonderful pals and you can't leave them. Goodbye, Miss Marion. I certainly enjoyed my stay here with you. Me too, but I got three pounds. 